This is Stockingfield Junction and Bridges on the Forth and Clyde Canal. The junction here runs down past Spears Wharf to Port Dundas and also makes a connection with what remains of the old Monkland Canal. Originally the canal had been opened here from Bowling in 1775. It became the terminus for two years due to a lack of money to construct a line further to, towards the east. In 1777 the route was completely opened, so now boats could go all the way from Bowling in the Firth of Clyde, all the way through to Edinburgh and to Grangemouth on the Firth of Forth. However, the canal itself closed in 1963. However, it was reopened in 2002. The name Stockingfield comes from a small country estate and mansion that once stood here. Ever since 1777 there's been a problem here in that this is a T-shaped junction, which means it's, you can't get across to the other towpath unless you cross the water. This was originally overcome by having a floating pontoon or bridge. Later this was replaced by a ferry. In the 2000s, plans were drawn up to construct bridges that would link all three areas. This was to be known as the Big Boy. However, it was an expensive project and it was cancelled. Well, it remained a social imperative to join the communities together on the various sides of the canal, also to complete the link, the final link between the footpath and cycle path between Edinburgh, Glasgow and beyond. In 2022, the Stockingfield bridges were completed. This project, costing £13.7 million, has been led by Scottish Canals and has come to fruition through the cooperation of a large number of organisations, local groups and individuals. Overlooked by the bridges is the Stockingfield Narrows. This is a safety gate or safety lock, also known as a stop lock. In the Second World War, it was feared that the Germans would bomb the nearby aqueduct. This would result in a huge amount of flooding going into Glasgow, as the, the nearest lock gate on the canal itself was 17 miles or 27 kilometers to the east. These massive steel gates, there are a pair of them, were once hand cranked closed. There are another pair down at Fir Hill and a final one near Spears Wharf, both of which are on the Port Dundas branch. On the Rock Hill side, there is a viewing platform. There are also a number of artworks set within an open space or parkland area. The towpath has been both widened and tarmacked for both cyclists and pedestrians. Heading to the east, there is the Windford Lock, beyond that the Falkirk Wheel and Edinburgh and Grangemouth on separate branches of the canal. Going to the west, there's the Bowling Basin and the Sea Lock. Not far to the west are the five lock gates at Mary Hill, together with their basins and a massive aqueduct. In 2016 I visited Stockingfield Junction and made a video which you'll find on YouTube. I also put together an article on Stockingfield Junction on Wikipedia.